East Lansing finally got a breakthrough on the Park District development last month. Now the city is moving on to another project, the parking lot and buildings that back up to Albert Avenue. Christopher Lane tells us what people and business owners want to see there. It kind of didn't have a lot of the things that it has now that we kind of wished it had, like shopping, more restaurants, that kind of thing. Kelly Reeder went to MSU back in the 90s. She says she's seen downtown East Lansing transform since she was in school. It's very different, like all, a lot of this, the apartments, all of that's all completely changed from when I went here. It's facing an even bigger transformation as the city and developers are eyeing a massive change along Grand River and Albert Ave. It's a very large project. Um, it's actually, um, think of it, a couple projects within one. There's a senior housing component, there's a market rate component, there's a lot of retail, there's public infrastructure, there's a parking uh, garage for the city of East Lansing. So, um, so the scale of it naturally is large and uh, accordingly it's a, it's a decision that needs a lot of community feedback. That's why businesses are lined up to voice their opinions. Rob Davis, who owns lots of pizza in downtown East Lansing, says he had a lot of concerns about the project and construction. What happens when we lose line of sight, you know, from Abbott or from, you know, Mac, or, you know, anything like that. We're just trying to make sure that we're on the same page. But some feel like the upgrades will ruin the college town vibe. Why would you want to take away from this feeling? Those sorts of places, those little niche Michigan companies that are really up and coming, they don't fit next to a target. East Lansing Mayor Mark Meadows disagrees and says he thinks it will bring more to the city. With the senior housing and the, the condos that we've already approved, I think we will bring sort of a different mix to the downtown. In East Lansing, Christopher Lane, Fox 47 News. The City Council just approved a plan to build a 13-floor hotel and condo development just a block away on Grand River and Abbott. The parking lot project isn't all that different, but the mayor says he wants to get more community input before moving forward.